When it comes to solving this problem, I just want to stress that there's more than one solution, and that as long as your image is not occurring over and over again, it's a perfectly valid solution. I'm going to show you one way to solve this problem, and to start with, I'm going to create a property in my header file, because we need to keep track of what the current random number is for our view. So we start with the first element in our array, which is uh, index 0. And that's because every time we load up our application, we're always loading up the first element in our array. After that, we want to know which current dog is on the screen so we don't reshow the same dog. So let's go into our header file. We're going to add another property. So we can write that property non atomic. And I'm going to call this, it's going to be a type int, and we'll call it current index. A property is very handy to use because we're able to access its variable name inside of any of the methods inside of mbfviewcontroller.m as well as the current index being persisted for as long as the view controller's lifecycle exists. So as long as we're showing this view on the screen, current index will be available to us. So let's go to mbfviewcontroller.m and set up an initial value for our current index. So I'm going to go into the view to load method and I'm going to say self.currentindex is equal to zero because we always set up the same dog as our initial image on our application. We can go down to the new dog bar button item pressed and update this as well. So we're going to want to add some lines of code in between the random dog and our random index. And what we're going to say here is if self.currentindex is equal to the random index we generate well, we have a problem here because now the random number is the same as our current number and that means that our view is not going to update. So we could normally just subtract one from our random index and that would give us a brand new dog to display. However, what happens if the random index is zero that gets generated? Well, we can protect against that by adding a double ampersand and we could say self dot current index is equal to zero. So we say if our current index is equal to our random index and the current index is equal to zero, well we should probably add one. So let's add random index plus plus which is saying the same thing as random index is equal to random index plus one. And let's add another if statement. So we can do an else if below this and we'll say self dot current index is equal to random index well, in this case, we know we can subtract one from our random index. So we can do random index minus minus. So now I can go ahead and run my application. And we'll see that each time we press the new dog button, a new dog generates.